Hey guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, <clears throat> today's review, or it's not, well, it's not really kind of a review. It's more, um, it's more just an article about the the new full range of Derwent Lightfast uh, 100 set that's out, and also the um, the the Karen Dash, sorry, Karen Dash Luminance. Now I'm not comparing the two pencils or anything like that. I've already done that. Um, which I'll have a link for re for a review of that down below. But this is more just to compare the palettes between the two pencils. Because a lot of people have been asking me, you know, what, what do you I think is the best pencil or the best set to get? Um, obviously now that the, the Lightfast range is in its entirety and there's a hundred uh, colors out there now, it, it kind of makes that set a little bit more attractive. But when you look at the, the palettes of both sets, if you're a particular type of color pencil artist, like a wildlife artist or a botanical artist, there may be certain pencils or certain palettes that just don't appeal to you. Uh, and it might be a better idea to, you know, just pick and choose from both sets and, and, and gather them in that way. So that's what the, the aim of this, this video is for. It's kind of like completely unplanned. Um, so I haven't done as much in this video as I have for others you see this is my little this is my little lifesaver I've got all my notes in here all my contacts um, when I do a review I fill in loads of pages and what have you of notes um, but I haven't done that with this particular review because it wasn't planned but I wanted to get it done as soon as possible uh, so hopefully I will be able to um, help any of you decide which set to get or anything like that so in that, I'm not actually going to tell you which set I think is the best set because in my opinion, both these pencils work beautifully together. There's no issues with them whatsoever in terms of blending or anything like that. So if you can afford both the 76 set of Luminance and the 100 set of um, Karen Dash um, Light Fat, or sorry, the, the, if you can, sorry, if you can afford both the the Karen Dash Luminance and the Dermot Lightfast 76 set and 100 set then you go right ahead and do that because you are then going to have two sets 176 pencils that you can use right the way through your work and call it Lightfast um, and you know guarantee your clients that it's not going to fade whereas in other sets of pencils and stuff like that you have to you have to lift out the the most light fast pencils use those and set the other ones that may not be quite as light fast as the others to the side and, and not use those in your work that you're going to be selling so anyway let's get into it now what i will say is i have a color a derwent um light fast color here that is not in the hundred set uh, it was obviously a colour that Dermot were playing about with, but chose not to put it in. And I'll show you that towards the end of the video. So keep watching for that. I don't think many other people are going to have this. Um, it was just I was lucky enough to get some of these pencils sent to me way before they came out uh, to test and what have you. Uh, and, so, and I still have those. And there were certain colours that didn't make the cut for whatever reason. Uh, and so I just wanted to share those with you. So if you have a look down here, okay, this is the full, um, the full 100 range in the, um, the Dermot Lightfast 100, okay? <clears throat> so as you're looking down, just let me, I don't like using my finger to point. As you're looking down here, we've got loads of gorgeous yellows, beautiful reds, nice dark rich reds here really really nice flesh colors uh coming down here into the magentas and purples the colors that i love the durban do are the mars colors like mars violet uh they've got a mars orange here as well uh there's the mars orange gorgeous earthy gorgeous beautiful colors um then coming down here again more purples the blues are just gorgeous as well and then coming down here into the greens. 
And then the, I mean, the greens are gorgeous. If you're a botanical artist, you're going to love the greens in this set because they're, they're just perfect. Um, and then coming down here again, in the all your earth tones, like your sienna, burnt siennas, um, ochres, van dyke brown, chocolate, natural brown. And then I really, the, this taupe is only in the 100 set, but obviously you can get it open stock. Uh, but this is this taupe is a beautiful colour. Um, and then the, the greys as well. And then they've got Mars black, midnight black, black, and then white, which I haven't obviously put in. Now, one of the things I love about this, um, the, the Derwent, this Derwent uh, Lightfast set is, when you are mixing colors together and stuff like that, if you don't use odorless middle spirits, you might use a white pencil to, to help mix them in and, and, and get the color that you want. Obviously the white pencil, mutes the color a little bit obviously because it, you're, you're putting white into it so it brings it down a tad there's a couple of pencils in here that are going to be excellent for 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 blending in other colors so if you look here at the um this oyster which is basically a white pencil with a, a tiny little hint of pink the arctic which is again oh basically a white pencil with um a tiny hint of blue in it and then I think there's another one here. Uh, I know the weight can be used, as, which is really nice as well. Uh, and the green, this this light aqua here is really, really nice green as well. So when you're when you're blending, say your blues, you can use this Arctic to to mix the colors in on the page, and it's not gonna it's not gonna tone it down too much for you. Same with this oyster. If you're doing reds or pinks or anything like that. You're going to be able to use this oyster, and it's not going to it's not going to wash it out too much. I have been asked, okay, because what, uh, a friend of mine here on the in the community said one of their concerns about the Dermot Lightfast 100 grains was that there wasn't many uh, light pinks uh, for botanical work for if you're doing flowers that type of thing. Um, so. They wanted to know if that was the case and what type of pinks there are. Now, if you're looking at this set just as it is, okay, you might be right. There's not very many light pinks. Um, if you look at um, the flesh, the cinnamon, the salmon, dusky pink and the oyster, they're as light as they get, but they're not really pinks. But like I've just said to you, with the oyster, um, you can take other colors like the, the heather, which uh, which is what color pencil artists do really. Uh, take the heather or the magenta uh, or or any other kind of reddish color for that matter, purple, uh, and mix them down. And I'm going to show you um, what I mean by that. For anybody that's obviously, I know the person who asked the question is going to know what I mean, but just for anybody that is new to color pencils and may not fully understand okay so i've got uh, a magenta here let me just show that got a magenta and heather from the dermot lightfast range okay so these two pencils so just let me sharpen this Okay, so we'll start with the heather first. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a few light layers here, uh, and the paper that I'm using is just uh, hot press watercolor paper. I think it's actually Dealer and Rowney. Yeah, it's Dealer and Rowney hot hot pressed watercolor paper. So um, I'm just laying down a few layers because whenever you start blending or anything like that with pencils or even if you do use odorless middle spirits you need to have quite a few layers down in order for the effect to work if you just put one layer down and then you put uh, odorless mineral spirits over the top of it it's not really going to do much other than just wash away the the pigment that you've just put down or certainly mute it or dilute it so you need to make sure that you're putting down lots and lots of layers so 
So that's the heather. I will label these in a second. And this one here's the magenta. Obviously a much, much deeper color. I'm, j I'm, I'm not doing this properly, okay? I'm just doing this. I'm doing this more for time's sake. I'm putting a, a little bit more heavier pressure on it than what I ordinarily would do whenever um, I'm like doing a piece, doing a drawing. Uh, for anybody that's new, the reason why you hear color pencil artists always say, you know, use a light hand. Don't don't be using too much pressure when you're laying down your layers. Is because paper has tooth on it, and when you press that all down and it's all pushed back, um, <clears throat> it's really difficult for the paper then to keep accepting layers, and that's what you want to be able to do. So keeping the light hand doesn't destroy the paper. And allows you to keep putting layers on it now when you get to this stage this would be the final stage if you were going to start like trying to bring this color down uh, going back to the original question about uh, light pinks for botanical work so I've got the oyster here the Derwent light fast oyster I'm just showing this on the other camera um, And what I'm going to do is, this one here is the heather. Um, and this one here, what was this? Oh, magenta. Okay. <clears throat> so I've got the oyster. And all I'm, all I'm trying to do is bring this color down a little bit, make it a little bit lighter. And as I say, this would be your final step because I'm, I'm using a lot of pressure here to mix this. It's kind of what you're basically doing is you're melting the pigment. You're creating like a, a friction on the paper and it m allows the pigment to kind of like just gel into one to come into this kind of like painterly effect. I'll lift it up and show you in a second. And now I'm going to do this with the magenta. And again, I'm not using the white pencil here, okay? So if you were using a white pencil, it would go even lighter than this. But um, this is the Oyster, which is basically a white pencil with just a tiny little tint of okay so let me just put the original color down beside it as well just to give you an idea of what the effect has actually achieved okay so I will have uh, some photos of this as well. You can see I'm bringing it up here. It's knocking out the light. Uh, and I'll put it up here. But I will have a photograph of it and it'll come up on the uh, screen. Not every set of pencils is going to have the, the color that you know in your head that you want or you would like. But having said that, you know, this is what color pencil artists do. They they use the, the, the multiple colors, blend them, use odorless middle spirits or, or like a, a lighter shade to, to mix and, and get those colors going. So just before I, I take this off and start showing you the luminance, um, I'll just show you the actual pencils as well. So this is the full 100 set. I have another tray here I'll show you in a second uh, with the grays and blacks in it. But you can see there, all those gorgeous pencils and the colors are just, I mean, it, it's a, this this is definitely a hit for Derwent. Um, when Derwent brought out the Pro Color, a lot of people complained about the Pro Color. There was a lot of issues people found with them that they didn't like. I personally loved the Pro Color. Um, but for a lot of people, the Pro Color just didn't meet their needs. Uh, Durbin have now come out with this light fast and I mean it, when you take into consideration that the pro color was only out two odd maybe three years ago now uh, And the light fast came out a year after that 
Um, Derwent have really, really been working hard to please their customers. Um, and I think that the this Derwent Lightfast range is definitely going to be a hit for Derwent. I know it was a little bit confusing about how they brought this set out, you know, like a 36 set, and then you had to wait a long time for the, the, the 72 set, and then a little bit longer again for the 100 set. Um, I'm not 100% sure why that was, but it, it just was. So just before I go on to the luminance, um, I've showed you this before, but I got this idea from uh, Lindsay, the frugal crafter. I mentioned Lindsay in one of my other videos, my latest video, <clears throat> and somebody had asked me who she was. And I just found that crazy. Um, I just assumed everybody knew who Lindsay was, but I'll leave a link to her channel down below. Lindsay does amazing, amazing videos all the time. Uh, and she, this was an idea that uh, Lindsay came up with um, to do your uh, swatching, your color charts, that type of thing. And I'll show, I haven't put the holes in these yet, but I'll, I'll show you what the, the idea is behind it. So again, this is the, the Derwent Lightfast 100 range, 100 set. Just let me move those over a little bit for you so I can get this other line in. Like I said, guys, sorry, this wasn't really well planned or anything, uh, which is why it's a little bit... But again, I will have photographs of this popping up on the screen so that you can um, get a better look. All right, I'll have to show you this a, a different way. So anyway, that's how you use the, or how the color chart should be used. <clears throat> but what you do is, or what I do is, I punch a hole at the very bottom all the way along here and then tie them off so that they're all together you punch a hole then in the actual um, the color and so if you're doing some work or anything like that and you're you're, you're looking at a reference so you would put the um, you would put the, the color that you you're, you've got over the top of the color that you're looking for and try and match it up and because there's a hole there and it's right beside the color that you have on your pencil it will you know give you a really good reference as to whether you're close or you're a million miles away so that was an idea that that Lindsay um, was talking about on one of her videos and I just loved it I've got some more here I'm going to show you um, just let me pick these up again and I'll show you the, the earth tones then that are in this. And so here we have like the raisin, Venetian red, ruby earth, that's a beautiful colour as well. That taupe is just gorgeous. Nice greys. And then the midnight black and Mars black again, all really nice colours. Okay, so this is the Karen Dash Luminance 76 set. So again, you can see, now I've actually, when you go onto the Karen Dash website and you look at their color chart, um, I've got these, these laid out going from down and across like that, the way the color chart is laid out. So I know it looks a little bit all over the place, but that's just the way Karen Dash have it on their on their website. So I did it like that just for continuity sake. Um, <clears throat> but as you can see here, there's lots of beautiful colors in here. And one of the things that I think that this Karen Dash Luminance set lends itself beautifully to is portraiture. Um, I've watched a lot of um, color pencil portrait artists, and they're able the 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 realism that they're able to capture with these pencils and like that it's. Down to the, the burnt ochre, 10%, 50%, uh, even the burnt siennas, uh, raw umbers, these beautiful olive browns, <coughs> um, burnt ochre, brown ochre. These colours are just perfect for all manners, all, all skin colours. And um, 
it's 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 a beautiful set for portraiture now it's it's obviously not just for portraiture you can clearly see here that there's a lot of really bright vivid colors in here that lend themselves really well to botanical art say uh wildlife art as well a lot of people use the luminance for wildlife art although in my opinion i think maybe the the, the derwent lightfast 100 set would be a better set for wildlife given all the earth tones that they have in that hundred set but you can see here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you because there's not really much i can say about the luminance set that i haven't already said i've got lots of reviews out about the luminance and like i say i also have a comparison video but you can see here <coughs> all the luminance pencils that i have uh, i need to get a few new ones here because my a couple of them are halfway down so I normally kind of like order new pencils when I'm about halfway down um, but this luminance set has been kind of like king of the hill for quite a long time now and it's kind of stood alone uh, until Dermot brought out the light fast uh, just before I show you the two sets comparison beside each other again I've done the same thing here with the luminance only I think this time I'll be able to get them in because there's only 76 but these bigger colour swatches show get, give you a better understanding I think of the the colour range Now, one thing that I, um, I have queried and I am kind of like looking at is to see which who, which one has the best white pencil. Uh, obviously, the the thing is, the Caran Dash Luminance White has always been a really go-to white pencil for a lot of artists to use. But then, uh, the Chinese white in the Derwent Drawn set is also a beautiful white pencil to use. Both pencils are very opaque. The Dermot Lightfast pencil, it's slightly different um, in that it's a slightly harder core. And But anyway, I'll show you those in a second. So there's there's the, the Dermot Lightfast colour. So you, or sorry, the, the Caran Dash Luminance 76 set, the full set. So you can see, you know, there is a big difference in having that 100 set in terms of additional colours. So let me just move this to the side. And then I will show you both color charts side by side. Okay, so on the left is the Dermot Lightfast 100, and on the right. Is the Caran Dash Luminance 76 set. Again, I'm going to have photographs of these over on the Art Gear Guide and they'll pop up on your screen here as well, but I'll have photographs of them over on the Art Gear Guide and you can take a look at them at your own leisure and, you know, not be rushed through it or anything like that. Um, I'll have them as close up as I can possibly get them uh, and in the best quality they can get them uh, so that you can really get it. And there's no filters or anything like that, so the colours that you see is the colours that you see. So that's the two sets there. It's really entirely up to you as to what set you think uh, is the best set for the particular style of art that you do. Um, I personally, I know how lucky and fortunate I am. I really do. Uh, in that I, I do reviews and, and companies have taken to my reviews. They enjoy them. They, they know that I'm going to give an honest opinion. And so um, I, I get a lot of stuff. And I, and I know how, how lucky I am. So th they are expensive sets as well. So it's really difficult to say, you know, if you've got both sets, great. If you're a professional artist and you sell your work, your, your color pencil work, having just these two sets alone, obviously the Faber-Castell Polychromos is another amazing set. But if you had just these two sets alone, the work that you're going to be able to do is... Um, going to be guaranteed 100% basically in, with regards to light fastness and you know the longevity of the how the art is going to stand up against light so let me move that to the side now let me show you the color 
before I go on to showing you so the whites or anything like that, this is the the Derwent Life Fast Color that I have that's not in the 100 set. Now you can see here there's no color name on this one. The pencils that were sent to me, I think there was about 36 pencils or 40, but they didn't have any color names on them. So I've no idea what this actual color is, but um, if you just... I would say it's kind of like a bubblegum pink, maybe not quite that bright, uh, maybe a salmon, a dark salmon, but th there is a salmon in, uh, this is the salmon, this one here, in the Dermot Lightfast range, but obviously that's clearly nowhere near salmon. Uh, the salmon that they've used anyway, but you can see there. It's quite a nice Actually, I, I think it's quite a nice pink and I, I, I've no idea why it didn't reach any of the sets, but um, It's it maybe just didn't reach it, it maybe just wasn't light fast or something like that I've got no idea or it just wasn't selected, but it's a nice color Um and it's also nice to show you guys something that nobody else is showing uh, and I was fortunate enough to get it. So you can, it gives you an idea of the mindset that was going through the selection process of the Dermot Life Fast and things like that. So that's that. Okay, so finally, um, I'm just going to do the uh, the Life Fast test, or sorry, the, the white test. So the first one I'll do is the Dermot Life Fast white. I'm just going to put a heavy layer down here just so that we can see how opaque it is. And then the next one, so this one here is and then this one is the Karen Dash. So I, looking at this, and I know it might show up a little bit different on the camera, but again, I'll have a photograph of it. The Karen Dash Luminance looks a little bit more opaque than the Derwent. But you know what? Everybody's eyes are different. Everybody sees things differently. So what I see might be completely different to what you see. So, okay, guys. So that is my um, account of the... New Dermot 100 set, Dermot Lightfast 100 set, and obviously the legendary Karen Dash Luminance 76 set. Both these sets are now available. Obviously, the Karen Dash Luminance has always been, but the, the, the 100 set from Derwent is now available. <clears throat> you can also get all, all sets, both of these sets are all open stock, so that's a bonus as well. And um, I'll have links down below where you can get them open stock. And I'll also have links about different sets that you can get as well. Uh, I'll also have links down below to the uh, actual comparison video that I did. But when I did that comparison video, there was only the 36 set out. Okay, so I, I compared the pencil. But bottom line was it was more about the, the performance of the pencil and the core. It wasn't about the palettes, which is the reason why I've done this video here. So that you get to see... The difference in both palettes. Um, if you want to know more about the actual pencils and how they perform, that that review is probably the better f review to go across and have a look at. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for all your wonderful comments um, that you have been leaving so far with regards to Amelia and all the personal messages I've I've received. Um, I just can't tell you how overwhelming it is to. Um, get such support from people who really don't know me personally or anything like that but 
it's just amazing and i and i i just wish there was a better way i could thank you all uh, other than just saying it on a video because sometimes it comes across a little bit disingenuous and i really I, I mean every single word of what i say i watch other youtubers do it sometimes and i think eh, you know it, but i i just wish that there was a better way i mean it, i do have a couple of giveaways coming up very very soon so um I will let you know about those and I'm hoping, praying to get a, a, a live stream done soon. It's just with um, Amelia the way she is at the minute, um, things are a little bit unpredictable and so I don't want to do a live stream and something happen uh, in the middle of it. So hopefully I'll be able to do a live stream soon. But anyway, thank you so much guys and I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Bye.